Okay, come on. Pedal, wait, sit. Good girl. So a few things you want to remember when you're going out a door before a dog. Um, never say do you want to go for a walk before you put a leash on because walking is the highlight of their day. So you want to just um, make it relaxing. Do you want to go for a drive? Any of that stuff. Just put the leash on and let's go. Um, basically is sort of how you want to do it. So here we are. We're waiting at the door. Um, you always go up first. But if you have a calm puppy, I just want to up so she's very calm right now. Um, that's the best way to go for a walk because the excitement is what's going to get her to pull and to jump and to do all those things. So if, if walking becomes something that's relaxing. So if you have the leash on her a few times in the house, um, so every time you clip the leash on her, she doesn't associate with going out the door. Okay. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's do it again. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. So sit. Okay, let's go. Same thing as going when, when I'm going out the gate. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I just did. I'm going to open the gate. Okay, honey, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's turn this around a bit. Here we go. We got you here. Okay, so this is our video of walking with the dog on a leash, and unfortunately, I'm not off property to do this, but it's the best I can do at this moment. So. Most people work their dogs like, oh, I took her collar off the other day. So I would have just clipped it to her collar and walked this way. Um, when I first start training puppies, what I normally do is I take the end here. She had a bath yesterday, so I took her collar off and put it back on. Um, and I turn it around this way, okay? So when, I, when you first get your puppy home, this is a great way of walking your puppy off property. It's just like I said, here's the clip, there's the other end. Now we have a bit of control. Let's go, ma'am. we want our puppy beside us and Meadow is pretty good at that what we don't want to do is allow our puppy to get in front of us out and then correct by pulling back pulling back creates tension as the dog pulls forward so that's one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're walking their dog where you want to correct your dog is when she's right here and she's starting to pull forward and this way we're going to give her a final come here you're such a good girl come on come on She's much, like I said, she would pull a bit when we were off property, but that's why I want to show you. So where we want to do is we want to find, we want to give her a quick little correction and that's by pulling this way, sideways, real quick. I don't want to correct her right now. But we always want to take the break off. We don't want to keep that tension on no matter what we're doing. We always want to have a fairly loose leash so we can correct properly. Um, so when she does that, she's going to look at you and when you look at you, you go, hey, enough. If you have to stop her and sit her down for a second, then that's what you're going to do. Let's go. It's a good girl. So if she was walking in front of me here, this is where I would correct, right? She's looking for treats, and I don't have I have the treats are up here. Let's go. Let's try it again. <coughs> Let's try it again. Let's go. Come on. Come on, that's a good girl. I mean, she does so well here because there's no distractions. Um, so here's like I said, here's where we'd want to correct right here. Shh, shh. Real quick. Always take the, what they say, take the break off, so you don't have this all the time. When you're walking, think about being very relaxed. Think of having a loose arm, like you're carrying a purse. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. So we're re very relaxed. She's just following me because this way, this way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we want to just make those really quick tuggy things. We don't want to pull hard and hold it like this if another dog's coming towards you you don't want to reef on it like this because basically all she's going to do is use that to pull forward on and so see it just creates a lot of tension Meadow, let's go let's go so that's the one and that's the same thing when you're greeting somebody and she's trying to jump up you're going to use that leash when she jumps you're going to use a real quick a real quick snapping motion this way sideways knocks them off balance rather than creating tension right they don't like to be off balance so they'll look at you immediately that you do that correction and that's when you give them the hey or enough or right there um good 
Egypt girl medal. She says, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, hey? What are you talking about? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, let's go around one more time. Let's try it again. Make sure I get everything in this one. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, honey. Let's go. Good girl. This way. This way. Let's go. So again, use the toys, use the treats, use whatever you can to keep her beside you. When she gets a distraction coming from somebody, this will definitely redefine her and get her back into your control. You won't have as much success when you have another puppy that she's interested in, but this really does help. And as she grows up, it'll really make a difference what she does. Beto, out. Good girl. Down. All the way. All the way. That's it. That's it. Well, I guess tomorrow morning she gets on a plane. Yeah. Wait. And she gets to meet her new family. Good girl, Meadow. What a good girl. What a good girl. What you got, honey? What you got? Out. Meadow. Good girl. Leave it. Nah. Leave it. That's it. Okay. Come on. Oh, you're such a funny little duck. You're such a funny little duck. So when she's in the house for a little while, I would actually keep the leash on as well. That way when somebody comes to the door, that's the other thing I was going to show you, wasn't it? Is that you can either get her to come back. Meadow, out. Out. Good girl. Okay, come over here. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. Sit. Okay, so somebody's knocked on the door. Meadow's going to get excited. She's going to see somebody coming in. If we have a leash, we're either going to get her to go back away from the door so that the people coming in, you can greet them without her greeting them first, okay? So you're going to have to, for the first little while, make sure she's where she's going to be. Ah. So when you turn your back on her, she's not going to start following you. And I mean, that takes a bit of work. She's still a puppy, so it's consistency on your end to continue with that. And that way, when the people come to greet, it's like, okay, let's go say hi. Let's go. Now off. Off. And when she jumps like that, we're going to use the leash and we're going to give her a quick snapping down. People coming in, you can either say yourself, sit, or they can just jump back a step. This works great with kids. And as they're jumping back, they say, sit. And as she sits, she gets the treat. So that's just the process of trying to get her to stop elevating herself to your stat, to see you guys and to be with you. Okay, so that would be the other thing. Okay, let's go. Try it again. Let's go. Let's go. No, uh-uh. Okay. Okay, come on. So as she's jumping up, we're going to pull down, right? You see how I did that? So I pulled her back. I'm trying not to pull straight back, try to pull sideways. I'm just trying to demonstrate this and it's not easy. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. So that's the trick to that. And I mean, it really is for the first couple of weeks beneficial to keep your leash on in the house and possibly keeping her this way with your leash until you get the leash walking under control. I just use a regular collar on her now because all I really have to do if she starts pulling me a little bit is just give her a quick little tug and say, hey, that's enough. And it's normally enough to stop her from uh, getting too distracted by what's going on, the smells. Smells are the best thing about the world for them. They use the nose, that's it. They see, but their nose is their primary. So if you see her and she's wiggling her nose, she's using her sense organ and that's good. That's what we want her to do. We don't want to use her vision as much. We want her to use her nose. So nose wiggling is a really good thing. Meadow, out. Honey, good girl. Okay, okay, you want to get that ball one more time or you want to get the tuggy? Okay. Oh, good girl, yes, I'm sorry. I didn't say take it, did I? Good girl. Yes, and remember, you know, consistency and remembering to repeat, and sometimes I'm not perfect either. Hey, nobody's perfect in this world. Meadow, out. Hey. That's it. Can you leave it? Good girl. Wait. It's a good girl, but it's a good girl, okay, take it. Good girl, baby, what a good girl. Okay, let's go. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I oh, said, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to step on your toes. Didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't. There we go. Forgiven. I'm already forgiven. That's the wonderful thing about dogs. They forgive you so quickly. All righty, we're done. <coughs> okay, come on. Come on, let's go back. What's it? Meadow, out. Meadow. What you got? 
We got neighbors over there with dogs barking, so we're just going to try and keep her focus off the puppies on the fence and with me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You want to teach a puppy to go through your legs? Watch. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. Let's go. Uh-oh. Let's go. What did your baby? Good girl. Take it. Good girl. Okay. Okay. What a good girl. So, and then we go around like this. All the way. Good girl. Hey. Meadow, out. Out. Good girl. Okay. Through. Through. Let's go. Through. Come on. Through. Good girl. Okay, take it. Good girl. What a good girl. Meadow out. Good. Okay, through. Come on, through. Let's go. Let's go through. Good girl. Okay, take it. Good girl. What a good girl. So that's how you teach a dog to go through. What a good girl. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, okay. Let's go. We won't be back yet because you're a little too young for back. You're a little too big for you. You want to see spin? Okay, spin, spin, good girl, spin, good girl, spin, good girl, good girl, spin, good girl, go this way, this way, this way, good girl, this way, good girl, okay, take it, good girl. So that's how you teach a dog to spin, and to go through, and to go around. Just get them focused on something, and use that. Okay, out, let out. Good girl, good girl, 
What a good girl. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl, honey. What a good girl. What are you doing? Okay, let's go. Thank you. I need the toy. Take it. Take it here. Take it. Take it. Good girl. Oh, silly girl. Silly little girl. Oh, what a silly little girl. You're chewing on my toe. That is my toe. Ah, hey. Don't you bite my toe. Don't you bite my toe. Wait, wait, leave it. Leave it. Okay, let's go. Leave it. <laughs> meadow, meadow, leave it. Let's go. Leave, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey. Leave it. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. She grab the toy. Leave it. Take it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What? As you can see, I'm not using very little treats at all right now because she doesn't really need them. Out. For her, the reward here is the toy. <coughs> so I've asked her to say out. She's getting a little bit pushy, so we're just going to refer. Okay, let's go. Leave it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Leave it. We just, I just used that one tonight. Just thought I would take her out here and do a little bit of fun stuff with her. I had a park today with some of the girls and we were working at the, the jumping up thing. So I'm gonna try and get my daughter or my granddaughter tomorrow to help me with that one. I'll do a little video on that. Meadow, out. Down. Tell her it's okay, you know, that she's a little bit um, concerned. Shh. Shh. I don't even know what you're barking at, honey, because there's nothing here. Shh. The doggies aren't here. They're not there. No, they're not. Okay. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Come on. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what you're barking at. See. Check it out. Come on. Let's go. That's oh, okay, hon. What are you barking at? Huh? Let's go see what we're barking at. Let's go look at the fence. Let's go and see what we're barking at. Let's go. Come on. It's just a chair. Just a chair there, knocked over. What is it? See? See? What is it? There's nothing there. See? Nothing. Good girl. Good girl. Meadow. Good. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. That's it. What a good girl. That's it. Good girl. See? Nothing there. 
absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go. Let's go, honey. That's a good girl. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, honey. Oh, they're pretty cool. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So that's kind of how you have to deal with barking. You just have to address it. You have to figure out what it is they're barking at. And if you take her to where she's barking, or call her to you if she's away from you. She's like sitting someplace, call her. As soon as she comes to you, give her a treat. So that way, she associates that she's telling you something. Because when they're barking, they're just, they're telling you something. They're communicating. Um, the same way your kids talk. So it's trying to figure out what they're communicating about and stopping them before they get ridiculous and before it gets to be a habit of where I'm barking and there's nothing, to, there's nothing going on. And at this age, like I said, she's getting a little bit older and she goes through a little bit of a different period at a different time. Meadow, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go, honey. What a good girl. Okay, let's go in the house. Come on. Let's go in the house. Let's go. What's well, supper time? So right now we're feeding her about eight o'clock in the morning, about two o'clock in the afternoon, and they eat their last meal around eight o'clock at night. I try to space it out far enough, and then they don't need anything from eight o'clock till eight o'clock in the morning. Now whatever works best for you is how you need to feed her. Uh, she should eat three months or three times a day till she's at least six, seven months old. Um, keep an eye on her weight. And they love these berries. For some reason, I couldn't make jam or nothing out of them. They're so bitter, but all my dogs love them. Been eating them for years. She likes to eat blueberries. If you go pick the blueberries, she picks them and eats them. Hey, is that what you're doing? You're eating berries? Oh, you're eating those berries. Are you eating berries? Never thought your dog would be a herbivore, did you? Is that it? You done? Hmm? 